proud new dad earlier this summer, Ronan McGuigan of Ireland. I'm going to jump over to the far side. Today's reserve champion, our lone U.S. rider in the jump off, Catherine Passmore. And in the center, also riding for Ireland, the champion of the 2013 Longines Cup, Richie Maloney. So as you know, the way we like to work it here is we ask if when you have a question, raise your hand and we will bring you the microphone because if people don't hear the question, they don't always understand the answer. So uh, we're ready to take our first question. And as I mentioned, when we're done with the questions, we have a couple of special presentations. Nancy, come on. It was such a tough field and the plane not making the jump off pretty amazing. What's it like to win over a group like that? Very nice to win, and I was happy there wasn't so many in the jump off. The <laughs> first round was, of course, very difficult. Uh, I think even more difficult than yesterday. Why, was, why did you think the course was more difficult today, and, and what was your strategy in the jump off, I mean, being going second and having, having already pulled the rail? Yeah, I knew when the first one went to Campbell down, I was a little bit careful to jump off. Uh, my horse was a little bit stiff, but he liked to go forward, and we kind of had to keep him a little bit together, go a little bit slow, a little slow. I knew I couldn't go, and I was fast. question for Ronan because uh, ever since Zara was born earlier this summer we've been hearing all of a sudden four falls isn't quite so bad yet we know when you came in the ring going for it um, still not so bad with the four falls or being here at the Hampton Classic does it maybe uh, wish you were clean a little bit more? Uh, no, the four falls is uh, I was happy with the four falls today um, but yeah Anyone else? You let these guys off easy, or Nancy, you would do one more? All right, Nancy and John. Catherine, tell me a little bit about what your thoughts were and about your horse in terms of experience at this level in this kind of class. Juan Carlos, we've been so thrilled to be partnering with you throughout the summer and, of course, this week. It's just uh, really enhanced our Hampton Classic. And I wonder if you could just uh, give us a few comments about your involvement here. To start, I'd like to congratulate the three best riders of the day. They did an incredible job. The show was spectacular. They have a nice ground. Nice people and incredible riders. Congratulations. We are very proud to be here to be last timekeeper and uh, to try the best of the riders. And uh, 
today was a great show. This is from 1926 at the Academy for Social Things, and uh, the floor today is at the, the right spot. And we share the same values as tradition, performance, and elegance. Well, we thank you. You're our newest partner, but in so many ways, you've become so deeply involved here, and it really gives us a lot of credibility to have Longines provide the time. We know the accuracy now of the scores, and um, today, of course, is the first time we've had this class as an FEI class, and again, we thank you for that. And I know the riders and our members of the media are all looking forward to tomorrow when we find out who will be the winner of the Longines Rider Challenge. You know, they, wearing the sash during the week is one thing, but I know it's uh, who is wearing it after tomorrow's event, and there's been a lot of anticipation. So again, we thank you so much for that. Um, I think I would like to ask if we could maybe have this move over. We're going to ask our riders to pose for some photographs with 